Good afternoon, everyone. It's Corey here. I am in Hanoi, right by the train tracks. As you can see behind me, a lot of traffic, plus the railway crossing. Um, today I'm going to be doing a walking tour of the Si Lien Market. This is a local market very close to my house. Uh, sometimes my girlfriend and I, we go shopping there for our produce and meat. And so it's a very bustling, kind of small uh, market. And I definitely wanted to share that with you guys. If you're looking for Google Maps on how to get to this market, just check the description box down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Let's go. First of all, here we're on the northern side of the Hanoi Railway Station. You can see this blue gate. Right now it's closed because there's no train coming. But uh, if you haven't seen my train street video, check it out here or look in the description box uh, for the two links. It'll tell you how to get to this specific spot and you can watch the train and stuff. But we're gonna go this way. Now this is just a quick walk from my house. It's only, um, I don't know, not even 10 minutes walking time. My motorbike, it's like not even two minutes. Super close. But right now it's about 11.30 a.m. Friday. And you can see lunchtime is starting to kick off. Everyone's heading out, going for lunch, traffic's picking up. And I think that's the best time to go explore the Si Lien Market, because it's just gonna be hectic, guys. Just wait. Uh, it's gonna be very narrow. There's gonna be motorcycles zooming around, honking, people everywhere. Yeah. So along the way, we have some shops. These are selling all meat grinders and motors and other kind of things like that like hardware. Yeah, so I've been meaning to make a video about this for the last month, but it's been raining almost every single day around lunchtime. And so uh, today, it looks like it might rain in a little bit, but at least it's dry right now. And that way I can uh, show you guys what this market actually looks like without having to hold an umbrella and film. So this is the entrance of the market. So yeah, it, it still looks a little tame right now. In the morning, it's crazy. And then around lunchtime, it's really crazy. But they sell all kinds of stuff. Over there is the Hanoi Railway Station. You can't see it because of the tree but we're right behind it. So it's very close to the old quarter. And yeah, this is gonna be cool, guys. Let's take a look at what they're selling here. Got some avocados. Some good greens here. Ooh, mango steam. Oh, I can smell this jackfruit. Oh, smells very sweet. Oh, we got pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and even uh, dried soybean. These are good snacks, little munchy snacks. Yeah, but check out this street. You can see all the buildings and wires and stuff. Yep, I just got hit from behind. Thanks. No apologies <laughs> from this lady. She literally rammed my calf. Yeah, so, so this green one, that's actually just an orange, a regular orange. It's a hybrid orange uh, found here in Southeast Asia. That kind of threw me off when I first moved here because I was like, where are all the oranges? I didn't realize that the green one is the orange. It, and the inside it's orange and it tastes just like an orange. Just the outside is confusing. Very noisy right now. Ooh, a lot of garlic. Shallots, ginger, galangal. And here we have a local butcher. This is how they do in Vietnam. Just unrefrigerated meats. But it's all fresh, it's from today. Yeah, so there's this alley uh, that we're walking through. And then this yellow building here is the, like an actual market building. We'll go through there too and scope it out. Whoa, 
to check out this fish. It's like snakehead fish. Yeah, this one's the snakehead fish. You can see the, the t uh, patterns on the scales there. It looks like a snake. <laughs> Very curious guy looking at my GoPro. Ooh, what do we got over here? Squid, octopus, some prawns. Gotta watch where you go here so you don't get crushed by a motorcycle. Wow, look at this crab. It has an interesting uh, pattern on it. It's like stripes. Yeah, in this market, they're really uh, not famous, but like well-known for uh, bun cha. It's the bun rice noodles with cha. It's the grilled pork uh, like patties. Oh, motorcycles. Yeah, so I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second here. Let's see what they got over here. Corn. Corn. This is a peng tom. It's like fried little, uh, like crispy little things with uh, shrimp on it. More fried goods. And unfortunately, yes, there's kitcho. This is dog. So you can see there's dog intestines and the body and the heads and stuff. That is a thing here in Vietnam. These are pickled, like mustard greens and other things. These are nice as kind of like a palate cleanser. And you're eating like greasy, meaty, fatty foods. I like it. I like it with rice and pork. I like these ladies selling uh, the fruit over here. Just try not to die while walking. Oh, those are little tiny pineapples. Yeah, lots of produce. So this is a good place for um, locals to come and buy all their produce and stuff. They don't have to go all the way to a Dong Suan market or a different market. They can get all that stuff right here. So this is definitely a neighborhood market. And this is what I was talking about, the bun cha. She's grilling. Xin chao. Yeah, you can see there. It is really, really hot. Not hot. <laughs> oh, no, you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and here you can see this is the pork with the betel leaf on it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, nong kwa. Yeah, this is really good. So she's grilling this up, and then there's, uh, I don't know which restaurant she works for, but um, I want to say it's this one right here. People will line up. I'm surprised there's no line here. But this place is really famous. They do all the, the stuff for bun cha, and you can get it to go, bring it to your office, take it home. Uh, there's always a line here. I'm surprised there's no line. The one day I come here to, to not buy it, there's no line. Yeah, so in this video, I'm not going to be eating anything. This is just a walk and talk kind of a thing. You know how I do. When I'm walking and talking, I don't really have time to eat, like sit down and eat. We got some pears and uh, longan. Oh, and this is uh, Ramudan. It's kind of like uh, lychee. Whoa, check out this alley. I want to actually go in this alley. If you're new to the channel and you're new to my walking videos, I started off doing this kind of stuff. Like alley expo- Whoa, these buildings are touching. Uh, alley exploration. But check this out. Just goes right into all the residences. These are all apartment buildings. 
anyway, we're gonna go back out, check out the market, and then go into the building market space. see there's dragon fruit right there. Love the mango steam. It's really good. Here's some bamboo, bamboo shoots. And there just happens to be a parrot. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a parrot chilling over there. Yeah, this is the market space that we're gonna go into, but I'm gonna just, just go down here just a little bit and then loop back on the other side of the street. Just to let you guys know, while I'm filming this, I am completely sweaty. You probably can't see it, but I am sweating like a mofo. More dog. Okay, so the market, it goes down that way just a little bit to the end of the street, and that's it. Uh, you'll find more flowers and uh, fruit vendor ladies on uh, bicycles down there, just kind of parked on the side. But we're gonna turn around and go back this way. And we're gonna go into the market. I'm gonna go deep, deep into the market. Now, I do have to say this about this market. It is a little bit scammy. Um, a lot of people make up prices and then change it uh, after weighing when they realize they could get more money for like per kilogram or whatever and then they modify the price and stuff. And they even do that to Vietnamese people, so it's um, kind of scammy. I'm not too bad. I mean, I shop here. It's just you gotta bring someone that's Vietnamese with you, which I do. <laughs> I bring my girlfriend. All right, going in. This is kind of more of like a wet market space. The concrete's all wet because they hose it down and then the water gets dragged everywhere. Ooh, they got different kinds of beans. Beans. And more beef. Uh, and then here's uh, the meat corridor. <laughs> Let's just walk right down the middle of the meat corridor. see cow's tongue, ribs, all different types of cuts. With the liver. There's a heart. These are good for boiling, making a soup stock. So you can see it's just like a small little interior space that has a cover. What's going on over here? She's chopping up, looks like chicken. Let's continue back this way. This way connects back out to the street where I first started on. Let's go this way. Ah, oh, this lady looks like she has the life laying on a bag of rice with a fan on her. That's awesome.
that's it for this market. Um, I'm going to go out and kind of show you guys, you know, this is a nice little stop through if you're visiting Hanoi and you want to just see what like a local market looks like that's not in the old quarter and um, not have to travel too far. And if you are on the way to the Temple of Literature, um, this market is on the way. I'll show you guys. Oh yeah, here's more of the market. I forgot. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, this is the non-food stuff. Clothing, very sparkly fabrics. A lot of the vendor shops are closed. Yeah, while I'm filming this, I don't really know much about this market. Like, I don't know when it was established. I don't know the hours of operation. But if you are curious about that, by the time this video is up, that information will be in the description box down below. So check it out. It's nice and cool in here. There's a breeze coming through here. This is great. Candies, dried fruit. There's more dried goods. Noodles, sugar, salt. It's cool. The, the shop itself is like really tiny. Keep going straight. other corridor and then go back out. What's this? Uh, dried mushrooms. Looks like dried bamboo. Yeah, dried bamboo. There's like a hair salon being built here. <laughs> Candied fruits. Oh, I see some plums and cherries. Oh, sorry, those aren't cherries. They look like cranberries. Uh, xin chào. Soybeans. Oh, we got a shoe repair shop here. It smells like leather. All right, so we're back to where I first came into the market uh, building. Now let's head out to this road and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about for the Temple of Literature. So um, as I mentioned earlier, you can definitely just hit this up, pass through this market, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes tops. Just say you've seen it, maybe pick up some stuff. And then uh, this road, it kind of goes like left, right, left, right. And then it just takes you directly to the Temple of Literature. So it's a good option um, for, you know, checking out the train street and then continuing into the Temple of Literature. 
So if you guys are looking for the full Vietnamese experience, um, this is it. And I did want to mention that, I know this sounds weird, but like, I did not see any tourists at all. I did not see any foreigners. Everyone looked Vietnamese to me. So if you keep walking down the street, there's this cool temple over here. Oh, and this guy's just chilling in a hammock. That's how you do it. Lunchtime siesta. Check out this tree and this rock formation that they built. It's kind of like a gate. right into this courtyard. Wow, that old stone horse. I got some neat porcelain ceramic statues of different deities. So quiet in here, it's really nice. Imagine living like right there and your view is a temple. That's so cool. Although I can imagine during like holidays and stuff, like Tet, um, it's just gonna be so loud, so many people all the time. But right now it's nice. Very serene. So they have this archway with all the stones, but uh, check out the barbed wire all over it. It looks ridiculous. Okay, so if you keep walking down, you see, as I mentioned earlier, the road just kind of goes left, right, left, right. It's like a zigzag. But if you just stay on this road and zigzag with it, it's gonna take you right to the Temple of Literature. Yeah. Okay. Here's another Bun Cha place. You can see all the smoke and the grilling action. Oh my god, it smells so good. And it is so hot. Oh, props to them for sitting in that every day in the hot summer heat of Vietnam. Oh my god. Yeah, so this is it. Now this road, if you could just go straight, just one block, one city block, it takes you right to the Temple of Literature. So you can see just right back there is the Temple of Literature. So it's just a nice little walk through that market and it pops you out right here. If you want the Google Maps, check it out in the description box down below. All the info about the market itself is also gonna be there. Make sure you guys subscribe, like the video, and I will see you in the next video, bye.